welcome to automation training hub in this video we are going to see how to use timer in programming so for timer right click your network you can see on delay timer shortcut has been given suppose if you want to see the list of timers go to function block in that you can see it will show you all the functions in a folder. Suppose if you want to see as a list, you know, remove the stick mark structure. It will show you the list in that if you scroll down in the bottom, you can see we have three type of timers we have. Off delay timer, on delay timer, pulse timer. So right now I'll just place uh, off delay timer in here. In this network, I'll place on delay and then pulse time. So you can see in the timer block what we have now we have IN. What are the pins they have given us? IN. IN means input. So what you do is select this end, give invoke contact. Same. And the queue is out. So connect a coil. PT. PT is preset time. So we have to give that time delay in here. We have to enter in here. So you have uh, two options. Either directly we can give time delay so that at run time, no need to change it. It won't allow us to change it. So for that, what you have to do is directly we have to give it as T ash. If it is 10 seconds now, 10 yes. So if I given in this way, at run time, I can't uh, change the time. Maybe five seconds if you want to change it now, it is not possible since we given directly the time delay. Suppose if you say at run time, I'm going to give, then what you do is in PT, instead of giving the direct time delay, give variable. So I'm just giving it as uh, PT1. Any name you can give without space. So when I enter, the variable name is PT1. The type it's asking. Since we want to enter the time delay in terms of what? Minutes, second, milliseconds. The type should be time. So since we're doing in simulation, so without address also it will work. Suppose if you are interfacing with controller now, definitely we have to give the address. So what address we have to give now? We have to give 32-bit address. So MD 0, 0.0. So in here also, I'm just giving PT2. Type is time. So address percentage MD. So already we given 0, 0.0. So 0, 0.0 means it will take four channel. So the next address I have to use is MD 0.4 and in here you can see initial value so that means uh, default at runtime what happens now the initial value will be 0 seconds but you are saying initially it should be with uh, some time delay if I want I can change it then what you can do now the direct time delay you can enter in here so the starting itself it will show you this time if you want you can double click you can change at runtime same way, ET. ET means uh, execution time or elapsed time. So it will show you the running time. So in here, it is not compulsory. We have to give an address. So you can leave also. But if you're not, if you're leaving uh, at runtime, we can't able to see the running time. That's the issue. So without ET also, it will execute. 
but the problem is we can't able to see how much time is completed. So I'm using variable in here. So the running time also same. It is going to display in second millisecond. So the type will be time. So the data type. Uh, so it is what 32 million. already zero four we given. So this is MD 0 0.8. So in here, 82 time percentage MD 0 0.12, 83 percentage MD 0 0.16. And these are the inputs. So percentage IX 4000.0. So I just copy and paste the address. And you can see the top of the timer block, it's showing question mark. So it's asking a name for the time. So in that name only, all these pin information will be stored and it will be processed. So right now I'm giving in here as, it is a user defined name only. So I'm giving the name as timer one. When I enter, since we're giving the variable it will ask this window so automatically it will show you a block name as data type so don't do anything simply give ok same in here timer to enter and in here timer 3 enter that's it so right now in online enable simulation mode online login, online run. So right now you can see th 10 s it isn't faded, so I can't change it. But in here you can see, when I double click, it's asking. So I can enter in here. Default it will be what, zero millisecond. So change into 10, yes. So since we given a new value, it won't accept. For that, control F7, it will accept. And in here, you can see initial value be given as 5 seconds. It is displaying. So if you want to increase it now, again, double click. You can change it. So whatever changes you are making, always we have to give control F7. Then only it will accept the changes. So now, the first one is what? Off delay time. Off delay timer means when the input is on, your output will on. When the input is off, after the given time, output will off. So we given the time is for 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds, it will get off. So you can see the running time in 80. Once 10 seconds completed, it get off. And uh, this is what on delay time. So on delay time, when the input is on, after 10 seconds only, output will on. So you can see. In 80, the time is running. Once 10 seconds is completed, then output will on. So if you cut the supply now, the timer will reset. So that's why we don't have any reset switch in the timer block. Similarly, this is TP. TP means pulse time. So pulse time on now, your output, that is when the input is on, your output will remain on only for the 10 seconds. That means only for the duration. So when I activate the input, you can see output is on only for the 10 seconds. Then it will get off. So these are the types of timer they given in ABB PLC. So in here, you can see we giving direct output. In some cases, uh, after the time delay, after the time delay, I need to on one output 
as well as half one output uh, instead of uh, giving a direct output in here what we do is we'll try to connect a memory address so percentage mx 0. Point, already till 6 uh, 20 sorry 16 17 18 19 so till 19 we using for timers so in here mx 0 0.20 channel in that zeroth bit i'm using as a memory and this one i can use as a contact so if you say after 10 seconds i want to off one output now you can use this address as a nc contact So each time you can see, since we are not given initial value, we have to enter once you give log out now. Okay. So like this also, you can use the timer. So instead of direct output, with the help of memory also, you can call it. Thank you. So let's meet in the next class.